I can I can't I can't can't Even if your wits were somewhat rattled. Listen here. If you can breathe, you can fight. Now come, we we'll take back our ship. You do not need to tell us. need to tell I us twice. Him. Raggy, grab your oars. The whale road leads us home. Gods, it's about time. Stop yapping and start rowing. to say for the mess you led us to? We suffered no losses in this fight, and the men who humiliated us are dead. What is there to say? Oh, something like, I was stupid, selfish, reckless, blind, boneheaded, and I smell like blood and shit? I like my version better. Eivor, look! Someone is setting up an outpost on that island. Shut his men, gnawing at any piece of open land like dogs worrying a bone. Even with you half in the grave, we could easily take them. 
Can't raise the sail here. Run up, sail! sail. Jotva will come for us now. Harder and stronger than before. No surprise there. This war spun on for three generations. I hardly expect him to relent. Your hatred for that man burns bright, wolf kissed. I could warm my balls on it. Would you not prefer a pair of sealskin breeches? Just take care, Eivor. Such hatred can make you careless. What he did to your father, he did to all of us. You are not in this fight alone. Sterbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course you will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I'm right. Until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze. What will you tell our king about this misadventure? Only the truth. That the attack to this fortress killed his men and weakened his control of this land. 
Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? If there is a skull to dare sing that verse, it will be his last song. Ravens returns, and not half dead. We thought we had lost you, Eivor, for good this time. A warm welcome as always, Landry. You look like reddened shit. What happened? Nothing to crow about, except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough, though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king. He is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. But we killed many of Kyoto's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters. It... Stirred something in me. A feeling I've not had since... ...the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Valka. She could help me make sense of my... ...feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. Eivor! Looking rough. Welcome home. Eivor! Did you bring us any treasure? I returned with a boat and a full crew. That is worth more than silver. That doesn't count! You need silver! And jewels! <laughs> Shut up, Rolf! How do you know? You never went on a raid! You shut up! <laughs> 